Hello, my name's John Dexter and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to see future videos. I'd like to show you how I got this ICM intentional camera movement image which has actually ended up being one of my favorites of 2019 and I think you'll be pretty surprised at the composition that I used to make it. I was down at uh, Christchurch Quay in Dorset the other day um, which is one of my favorite places to go to. I've had some really nice images come from here of the uh, boats and the harbour but I was looking around for some new compositions and I came across this bridge with the trees by the side of it and I thought yeah maybe you know let, let's give the camera a bit of a wiggle a bit of intentional camera movement and see what comes out of it and this is actually where I ended up getting this image from so I'll run through with you um, how I moved the camera and uh, also a little bit of um, post-processing. As far as the camera movements went to take this image, um, I started off with the camera horizontal and then went completely vertical to the left and then right the way back vertical to the right. It doesn't matter if you do right to left or left to right, it makes no difference. But that's how the image was taken. You have to um, slow your shutter speed down to give you time to do this movement. This is of course where the neutral density filter comes in to give you total control over your shutter speed. So from those camera movements you've ended up with this image. Um, this swirling here, this white swirling, I think was probably um, the clouds that were picked up which has given you that illusion there. It's also multiplied the trees and I sort of see this um, as, as a forest now and you can still see some of the outline of the bridge so I, I see it as a forest um, by a river but you may see it in a completely different way. Um, this is the beauty of, of abstract photography. Um, I mean that composition that I took this um, was nothing special. You wouldn't normally take it as, as a straight photo. But from that you've ended up what I, as I said before, you know, it's one of my favourite images of 2019, which is really exciting. So I'll just run through the uh, camera settings that I had on the day. Um, it was taken with my Nikon D700 with a 70 to 210 f4 lens. Now this is a, a vintage lens, um, but it's a beautiful lens, and the um, images it produces are just absolutely stunning. I did actually do a video uh, review on three of my vintage lenses. If you want to have a look at that sometime. Um, it was taken at 70mm focal length um, at an aperture of f11 which gave me a 3 second shutter speed which gave me ample time to uh, move the camera around and I think I achieved that with a, a plus 6 neutral density I think that was the one I had on there on the day um, the ISO was set to its base rate of 200 um, I've set, I've set the white balance at cloudy. I will sort of change that between cloudy or sunny. I'll even put it on automatic sometimes because we're going to tweak the colours anyway so it really doesn't matter that much. Um, but that, that was about it as far as the camera settings went. Finally I'll just run through um, the post-processing procedure that I did to this image. Um, I've deconstructed it uh, this isn't a tutorial on how to edit an image uh, because you know I'm sure you're as capable as I am doing that and you're probably using a different program to me. I always use Capture uh, NX2 which is Nikon's own editing program which I absolutely love but it's just uh, um, sort of showing you how I ended up with the final image. Uh, the first thing I did, I put some shadow protection in there of 20% just to sort of bring the shadows out a little bit. I've put in a 5% uh, 
red um, on the color balance um, which has just sort of put a, it hasn't made a lot of difference but it's just put that slight red cast over it um, put a control point in on the tree here and um, just dial down the brightness a bit which has given me that it's made the trees the dark areas um, stand out a little bit more the other three control points here here and here uh, were put in there just basically to neutralize these areas from that adjustment the uh, auto uh, retouch brush was purely just to get rid of the dust bunnies um, noise reduction uh, I'll often put in about I think let's have a look see how much I've put in probably about 10% oh no it's only 5% on this um, you do get a little bit of noise with ICM but not a great deal I, I normally um, put in about 10% uh, but on this one it wasn't too bad so I just dialed in um, 5 um, the final thing I did was I enhanced the uh, dark tones um, which just sort of I, I think made, made the image pop a little bit more so there you have it that's the final image um, I hope it's inspired you to get out there and jiggle the camera around a bit it's so much fun and you just never know what you're gonna get so if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel this is John Dexter bye for now